and so basically the uh, the main reason is that as we found you know as it says uh, by the the buddha himself said that you know in the uh, it says uh, in the language of the god in the language of uh, uh, the gandavas in the language of the human in the uh, language of the kumbandas you know the buddha teaches uh, each one according to their own language you know and so which means that also, we need to translate those teachings into English, but actually not just English, any other language, you know. The Buddha speaks to people in their own language, and so because of that, we should translate those teachings in as many languages as we can. The second point is that uh, for the compassion of the Buddha, there's no people who are, you know, he's taking m more care of and people less. You know, he, he doesn't have that sort of, he doesn't make that kind of distinction between beings. And so, since there's no difference uh, for the, in the, in terms of the Buddha's compassion, there's no difference between the different beings. So therefore also, each sentient being should have uh, the same access to the teachings. And so, therefore, uh, and since it is the uh, the, the, the Buddha's uh, compassion expresses itself through the uh, through his speech that you know tames being. It is through his speech that he tames being. And so, in order to tame or train being, then also those who speak English, then they need to have you know teaching in their own language to have access to that that uh, those words of the Buddha. Then, Sanskrit, ne. Because you know, if you, if it was allowed to translate, you know, those teachings from Sanskrit or Pali into um, into Tibetan, then why? What would be the reason for not translating them into from Tibetan into English? There's no reason for that. If it's allowed in one way, then why not the other? And so, and if we think about, you know, how important it is for the teachings of the Buddha to remain in this world, you know, so that people have accepted, then, then, you know, it is even more um, important to translate those, you know, in that, in that light. And in particular, those teachings, those words of the Buddha, the Kangyu, you know, because the root of you know, all teachings is, are the actual words of the Buddha himself, isn't it? Um, but then, I'm sure this is not something easy. Incredibly difficult. Sure. And uh, this is something I've said, you know, during the conference, and I'm uh, saying again now, is that uh, lots of us are, you know, nowadays, not people we really trust, you know, translators. <laughs> Because, you know, if you look at, you know, a number of translations have been made from Tibetan into English, and if you meet the translator, you'd realize that they actually don't know Tibetan so well. A little bit, you know, they might have studied for eight, nine years, you know. Like, oh, and they, no, sorry, they, they, they speak Tibetan like a eight or nine years, you know, uh, old yeah. child, you know. And so that's the first point. The second is that the uh, uh, translators don't have any rule, you know, the different, each translator can do whatever you want. Like, uh, you know, there's so many people who translate nowadays, but each of them use their own words. And, but then if each different translator used different words, then it would be very difficult to, I'm sure, to, to really understand the teachings, you know. And even more difficult than that, you know, a, a bigger problem is that there's no penitence. Because, you know, if you, if you are to translate the Kongyu, or the words of the Buddha, from Tibetan into English, then you need... Tibetan panditas, people who really know the sutras, you know. But, you know, uh, 
most lamas, almost all lamas nowadays, they don't, they can't even read the sutras. They, they've never read. Kajuna kare yuda kare shite. Noa shi, noa maris. So what's in there, what, what it means or not, they've never even read them. Ta rumbo chi longji songare wa tema. So the uh, lamas, you know, like they, they they give the the long, you know, the. Shi ze rumbo chi long chat ju songare wa. The kien ze rumbo chi. そう、is that you have like you have this association between a lotawa and a pandita and they would work together and even sometimes for one lotawa there were like two three panditas to help him and they'd work together like this and then, and then you know in the uh, in the in the meeting they talked about the uh, expenses how expensive it is how much it would cost for the, to, trans, uh, to translate one line, you know, or like uh, the, the, uh, the cost of a single page, you know, they were talking about these kind of things. I'm sure this is difficult. But this is very important at the same time.